So, hey, what's going on, guys? Danny here, and welcome to the multiplayer stream. In today's video, I will be attempting to beat five multiplayer games of my choosing in a row. Over the span of eight days, I tried this challenge, and it put me through a lot of different emotions. So sit back, relax, and watch how I completed the toughest gaming challenge of my life. But first... Let's go over the... First up, the games I chose for this challenge are as follows. Multiverses, Rainbow Six Siege, Dead by Daylight, Overwatch 2, and Fall Guys. Next, I decided to do ranked for the games that have them, which are Multiverses, R6, and Overwatch 2. Okay, with that out of the way, here are the actual rules. I am allowed to change the order of the games as much as I want, whenever I want. What does this mean exactly? Well, the order will decide what game I do first, second, last, etc. If I lose at any point during the run, I must restart back to game one. Pretty self-explanatory. I am allowed help from a friend on one of these games per attempt. This rule is the most important, and without it, I don't think I could have done this challenge in the slightest. With all the rules out of the way, let's get this started with... For day one, I decided to use this order. R6, Overwatch 2, Fall Guys, I will soon live to regret having Fall Guys in third, DBD, and lastly, Multiverses. Okay, so first ever attempt of the challenge, and how did I do? Well, not too bad actually. I had a pretty decent team on R6 and was mostly playing Zero for support. And well, he's just an everyday hero. Another dub. The name's Zero, and I'm I'm just your everyday hero. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I managed to secure some kills. Help my teammates secure some kills. I managed to win the first game for the challenge. Next up is Overwatch 2. Now, before I continue, I have a bone to pick with this game. This game in competitive is the most horrendous shit I have ever played in my life. This challenge made me realize how horrible and dog shit this game is. Fuck it, fuck it all. All I want. My strategy for Overwatch was not to exclusively play support, as I was pretty decent Ana and can most of the time keep my team alive. So I waited for a one minute queue. Wow. The queue will get longer and longer and longer. Trust. And we're finally in. I got a payload game, luckily, but. Then again, we started on defense. Bruh. I was keeping my team alive though, so I had some faith that... Oh. So anyways, I queue again, and this time I get capture the point, which I 100% prefer over payload. My team is pretty good. I was keeping them alive, and we got the first point. Then because we're goaded, we got the second point, and we won the game. Now. Ball guys. I equipped my boy Pac-Man. I was ready, I was gonna win the challenge. First attempt that Boot up R6 again. Yeah, after that I realized Fall Guys and third isn't the smartest decision I ever made. And because I was stupid, it didn't change the order yet. I was stuck on R6 for over an hour. But then I finally got back to Overwatch 2 and then <sighs> I um I booted R6 up again. Once I made it back to Overwatch 2 again, I got the worst teammate of all time, our tank. Turns out, this person was known for going AFK and giving up. He went AFK before and he threw their last game? I don't want this guy in our game, no. Where is he? I think he's already AFK. And guess what? They gave up and we lost. Can't carry this match, GG. I tried. No way I got it. There's no way. After that disgusting game, I finally had a brilliant idea. That's right. Fall Guys and R6 are now swapped. Making Fall Guys first and R6 third. I followed this for the rest of the day, but didn't get very far and couldn't get past Overwatch. So let's just move on over to... This was one of the worst days of this challenge so far. And guess what? It's only day two! Wanna know why this day was so bad? Well... Aw, oh, son of a 
Nice. Oh. No! 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 Loss. After loss. After loss. After oh, loss. After loss. Oh my god, I won! Lost on Overwatch. Then back to loss. After loss. After loss. Yeah. I'm not gonna spend too much on this day as, uh... It was rough. I want to bring up that over these days, I will seem to get more and more angry and upset as this challenge really starts to get to me. So you've been warned. With that out of the way, let's just go to day three. Right back at you, pizza. We can be L streamers together. Day 3 started with more Fall Guys pain, and once I made it to Overwatch, I realized making Overwatch first might be the play, as this game is coming more and more unpredictable. Yeah, I was wrong. I made Fall Guys first again eventually, and someone came to my rescue. The homie PK. Huge shout out to him, he helped me so much on this challenge, I genuinely appreciate it. So with PK on my side now, did we win the game? You have to carry, I'm so sorry you have to carry. I'm so sorry to put you in this situation. Nope. But for future reference, this did make Fall Guys 10 times easier. And throughout the later days, I never got stuck on Fall Guys anymore. I could actually make progress instead of going back and forth with Fall Guys and Overwatch. Let's continue to day 4 where I actually get good attempts now that I have my boy PK. Day 4 was eh. On one hand, I mean PK managed to get a win in only 13 minutes, but on another, I was not able to even get to R6 this day. Most of the games I picked for this challenge had a decent amount of RNG, which sucks. Fall Guys and Overwatch especially. If me and PK got a game we were bad at or never played before, it was an instant loss. Most of the time. And with Overwatch, I needed to get a good team and a decent game mode or I was screwed. It was very tedious having to hope me and PK get a decent game lineup and to hope for good Overwatch teammates that don't rage quit instantly. The one good thing I could say about this day was I decided to switch to DPS on Overwatch for the rest of the challenge. And moving forward, this was definitely the way to go. But this day got 1,000 times better, actually, because I saw the craziest news on stream, and it genuinely cheered me up so much. The lob and you switch genders while you're at it. Oh my god! No fucking way! What? I'm having DPD next summer. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. It just got announced. All right. At least day four ends on a somewhat good note. So let's hope the next day also ends on a good note. <sighs> You're probably wondering why the title for this day is Heartbreak. Well, this day only had one attempt because I got past every game on the very first try. I finally made it to DBD even. Please tell me you don't know it. Yes! Oh my fucking god! Come on, I'm st But unfortunately, I picked multiverses over Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for this challenge. Why is this relevant, you may ask? I'm just gonna let this attempt speak for itself, as a wise man Dashy once said. Don't count your chickens.
This right here, as you can see, broke me. I didn't make a single noise. I ended the stream right after. This challenge genuinely did take a toll on me. This weirdly designed looking dog was my breaking point. If you play multiverses, you know how unbalanced it is. Every character feels like they're Brawl Meta Knight. It can just be a skill issue, which may be true, as I probably let my nerves get to me as this was the very last game and my heart was pounding. But you can't deny this game is a joke when it comes to balancing. Like, why is Finn, for example, able to do this shit? Let's just say after this, I wasn't comfortable having multiverses be last anymore. Surprisingly, after that, I reached my full potential or some shit. As usually when I stream this challenge, the max is usually 3 hours I would actually stream for. However, this specific day, I streamed for 6 hours. Now is the beginning of the goaded first attempts as day 5 and this day, I managed to get to the last game again, this time DVD was last, as I felt like I was pretty good enough to play this game without letting my nerves get to me, and DVD kinda teaches you to be good with nerves and concentrate. And I'm proud to say, the challenge concluded here. I did it, I can finally rest, I can finally play something else, I'm so happy I can- Want to know what's funny about this? I don't know why, but I wasn't that mad. Over these six days, I've been improving so much on each game now that I can most of the time play them all more often. Again, having someone helping me on Fall Guys really makes a difference. So I sucked it up, boss, and I continued. I wasn't ready to stop here like I did with Day 5. After a decent amount of attempts, I decided to call it there as I couldn't get back to DVD, so I ended the stream and knew I could do this because I was improving and I was happy enough to end it on that note. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention I started playing Shaggy for multiverses, which he is broken, yes, but if you don't just spam side special and you actually use him at his full potential, he is genuinely really good and he's who I use from now on. Me and PK, as usual, went for Fall Guys, and sadly the streak of good first attempts was over. Because Team Tail Tag is PAINFUL! Each other <laughs> uh, Oh my... Why is PK more mad than Donner right now? <laughs> if that was so easy! Oh my god. Anyways, the second attempt I did for today was really something, as PK helped me win to Fall Guys, and actually got insane RNG and got a roll-off on Ali, which I'm really good at those. I then cooked on Overwatch with Ash, who was the only character I played for this whole thing. And I cooked a Samurai Jack with Shaggy, and Jack is such a unbalanced character, but since I'm using one as well, I was able to win. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't fucking be serious! Oh my god! Then there's our sixth game where we thankfully got Worgen, and we were doing really well. Oh, we lost. Then two attempts later, I made it to multiverses, then, uh... Yeah, I figured. The Finn was pretty chill, though, and said GG's in my chat, so shoutouts to this guy. Nully San? Oh, GG's, were you the Finn? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm doing a challenge right now, so... 
you 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 kind of you kind of made me mad a little, but GGs, GGs. <laughs> it's fine. Well, at least he came in to say hello. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate. It. I appreciate it. That that makes up for making me restart the challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why did you do that to me though? The rest of the attempts after were more of the same, but for the last attempts, I made one final change to order, being this right here. I realized no matter where Overwatch was, it was going to be the same RNG mess regardless, so I was comfortable putting it in third. Now if you notice, this day was called Hope. But because I had hope, I could actually do this. I had faith in my skill, and was ready to just be done with this. I was still getting very upset, however, so I needed a reset. I decided to take a break for a week, and I did. It was nice, and if you're doing a challenge like this, please take breaks. If you're having a rough time, even if you're trying to get a video out, don't rush yourself because that will just put more stress on you and make you more upset when you lose an attempt. So if you can, please take breaks because that week-long break was very needed. Over 80 attempts. Over these 8 days. And I went through a lot. That Jake on day 5. The tank I got on Overwatch 2 that just Can't gave up. This match, GG. I tried. The Tombstone Myers, the Finn, the shit games I got in Fall Guys. That all led up to this moment. The finish line. This week off, I almost dropped the challenge. I was dreading coming back to it. As yeah, last day I did say I had hope, but everyone has doubts. And sadly, I did. But I locked in on attempt 84 of the challenge. I was done letting this challenge get to me. I simply never gave up. Yeah, hey there, I do this. Never fear losing. And when I get up in the game, you're up here improving. A real problem, but I solve them all face proof. And if you think I'm gon' fold, then you talking fool. Yeah, y'all wanna win, let me spin, boy. I dunk the side, I'm super fly, like I'm hanging off the rim, boy. I been winning for my kinfolk. And I put on for my city from the intro. Let's go. That time in. My pride is out the roof, I get that grinding. Oh, get so shit I'm gonna on. tell the truth, I get my grind on. You know the pressure make all of these diamonds I tell them get back, step back, fast track Big lap, big facts, I'm past that, yeah I'm trying to get ahead, get out the way Now move forward, stand back, now break away I'm about to bring it up. I ain't never backing down Took a step up to the plate From a city, from a town I do whatever it takes I'ma go and get this round oh. I'ma go and look around Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Started from the ground up, training, getting wound up, channeling it in and stuff, we moving up these bounds. Crossing over, passing bound, full of time to count and keep score. Breaking barriers I never thought it crossed before. When I get tired on my knees, I got it digging in deep. I feel like I'm all alone, it really has got me. I stand by. Four attempts over 15 hours total of trying this and finally the end am i happy i attempted this yes definitely this was tough but it was very it was really rewarding to finish it i want to thank pk and killer who helped me on fall guys 
If I had to do Fall Guys solo, I would have most likely went over 100 attempts. Much love to those two. And Killer was the one who actually helped me on the winning attempt as PK was busy. And he also called me a pussy when I wanted to give up. So thank you for motiv me, motivating me, Killer. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, drop a like to help the channel out. I really want to do more videos like this one and want more people to see my journey with these challenges. So subscribe to while you're at it. And check out my Twitch where I'm always going to be streaming my attempts for whatever challenge I do. And again, thank you so much for watching. So hey, what's up guys? I am recording this after I finish editing the video. Um, because I forgot to mention, because I guess I never wrote it in the script. Um, I forgot to mention that before uh, my winning attempt on DBD, uh, since the last game is DBD, there was a game before that winning game where someone DC'd and I didn't count it. And I'm here on the VOD so I can... Uh, show you guys here. Uh, so as y'all can see here, uh, the sable's oh, getting chased. Shit. It's hillbilly. She gets down by hillbilly, and then instant like three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, hold on. She DC. Do I even count this game? She DC. That's not fair. No, no, no. Yeah, she even killer agrees. Uh, she DC. So I'm not counting this game. Uh, just thought I would let you guys know because I honestly think that's kind of cringe to count that. Because that's like, I can't do anything about that, and we all literally died, like, shortly after, because of her DCing. Like, I didn't even make it out or anything. Like, we all literally died. So, there's, like, nothing I can do about that, so I didn't count it. And then right after is the game where I actually won and beat the challenge. Um, so, yeah, that's all I wanted to mention. Be on the lookout for the full uncut successful run. Uh, well, the only thing that will be cut is probably that game where that person DC'd. I might leave a little bit in there. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I got to say. And uh, thank you guys again for watching the video. And I'll see you guys later.